so how did you leave the Blades? What what happened? It was a Nigel Atkins at the end of his era. Just I remember, yeah, yeah, I have that feeling too. But he's a, he's a really nice guy. Uh, Everyone keeps just, telling us that it's terrible at managing football clubs. Yeah, well, <laughs> I, I, all I remember is in pre-season, I didn't let a goal in that pre-season. And then George had been away with England under 20s, I think it was. And then uh, so he came back a week before the season started. And uh, Nigel Atkins approached me the day before we played Gillingham away and said that I don't make enough saves in training. So George is going to play. And I remember like ripping my hair out at the time and Nigel Atkins just meets you with a smile and a nice calm demeanor. And it's hard to argue back at a manager like that. And I, I just remember like, I, I thought this could be me. Yeah. If, if he's already saying that and it's the first day of the season, I'm up against it. Uh, and then obviously we went to Gillingham away. We lost 4-0 and none of them were George's fault, but I think it, it was just what I needed almost to happen. And I feel sorry for saying that to, towards George, but I ended up playing in the cup game on Tuesday, kept another clean sheet, and then I stayed in the team then. But I always just felt that there was something against me. Uh, mm -hmm. I'm not, I wouldn't say a vendetta. I just felt that for someone to say you don't make enough saves in training, but I don't let many goals in an, in an actual match was really hard to take. Yeah. Was it, the biggest room in your house the room for improvement? <laughs> That's a loud kid's line. About that quote, yeah. <laughs> no, it's, it's one of his, isn't it? He had a few quite uh, strange quotes at the time. Yeah, not just that. that the Eleven's always yeah. open, and if you're in it, trouble, Timpsons put your boot, exactly. boot through it. Yeah, he had he had many, and you knew he was getting dropped if he was walking around the pitch on the Friday morning. He used to you know, instead of being in a hostile environment behind a desk and two people shouting at each other, he used to take you for a walk around the training ground. And you, you'd be walking, and as soon as you got to like the halfway line, you would just want to turn and run. You was just like, I know what's coming here. Yeah. Did he ever recite any poetry in um, in the changing rooms or anything like that? There probably was some. I, one story that still to this day I tell everyone, and it makes me laugh the most, is he's like the first day that he came in. We all met in the video analysis room, and like, it's like a little theatre. There's all 30 seats, and he stood at the front, and he goes, lads, I, I know that I can't hold your attention for more than 12 minutes. Every meeting that we ever have will, will never be more than 12 minutes. At the end of that meeting, 37 minutes later, he goes, I won't do that again. <laughs> Brilliant. I feel like uh, yeah. we shouldn't really gang up on the guy. Um, what I would say is that we've we've had a lot of players on that played under him, and various different people look at him in a completely different way. I think that's only fair. If you're a player that enjoyed playing under him or played under him at a club where he was successful, you'll obviously say uh, different things. So we should be absolutely balanced and fair. And you've been like that, exactly that way with Danny Wilson and with Nigel Clough. Different experiences, different managers. I think what we will do as fans is purely just look at the results on the pitch. Yeah, exactly. I think, like you said, we all have our own rapport with a certain manager and that's always the ones that plays you the most. Uh, even if you don't agree with the tactics at the time or if you if you don't in, even enjoy your football, as long as you're in the team, that's the best scenario for every footballer. So, yeah, obviously, I had, I had some highs and lows and a few injuries probably took me out of the team more than it should have done. So there's so many different factors that you've got to work out when it, when it comes to playing games. So you never hold a grudge, really. Really. No. Really. <laughs> mm. Really. <Okay. laughs>